Good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there, present company included, including my own father, Anthony Markey. Love you, Dad. He's over in California. I'm in North Carolina now. Um, of course, I am your physical therapist, friendly neighborhood physical therapist, and online fitness coach. Going for my morning walk here with my buddy Snickers. There she is. Um, just wanted to do a quick little video today on, you know, fathers, fatherhood, and purpose. Um, I have three, three children all under the age of uh, five. One plus including my crazy furry child right now who wants to try to kill that other dog, I guess. <laughs> Just one second here. All right, there we go. Woke up right. Sorry about that. Anyways, um, if you haven't seen my video talking about purpose, um, I know one of my purposes is to do my best to provide my children a happy and healthy home in order to um, for them to thrive in whatever purpose or things they want to do in their lives. Um, I think it's important because one, your children don't get to choose their parents, right? Um, you know, unfortunately, I, I have most likely some genetic um, mal adaptations, mental health wise, okay, because it does run in my family. And so I do, you know, there's part of it may have been passed on to my kids, right? And so I want to do my best to temper that and hopefully they don't have to go through some of that mental anguish that I've had to go through, okay? Um, or at least be as prepared for anything like that as possible. So yeah, so your, your children don't get to pick their parents. So that means both the genetic component and any sort of environmental type component and behavioral component of their parents because often your kids are going to learn their behaviors by watching you, right? And so I want to do, and I need to do better, you know, things like um, putting down the phone, you know, paying attention, being present. That's a big one. I am doing better at it, but I can still continue to work at that. Um, not reacting, you know, getting frustrated, you know, when they're, you know, doing things that, you know, maybe annoy you or bother you. Um, because one, they're kids. <laughs> uh, and, you know, if you kind of give off that, that frustration and whatnot to them, they're going to kind of learn that as is normal and how they should act so to try to mitigate that or help that reduce that um, do do my best to be understanding um, and honestly be real with them you know tell them you know just you know obviously they're they're little so they're not going to understand everything but I'm of the, of the opinion that being as real with them as possible, you know, kind of telling them, you know, if they're doing something that you disagree with or is, you know, maybe not okay behavior wise, then in your opinion, then, um, you know, letting them know that and perhaps even, you know, kind of getting into why, um, you know, teach them that sort of deeper understanding. And the more you do it, 
the more they're going to understand, um, you know, what you're, what you're talking about. So, and, and also as a father, I want to make sure that, you know, my children, again, have the best chance to choose the life they want to live, right? So the way I look at that, and it's kind of similar with the way I look at like health and fitness is that, you know, I want to be healthy and fit because I want to, and throughout my life, I want to have the choice to kind of basically do what I want. Now, the less healthy and less fit I am, the less of those choices may be on the table and to the point that maybe they're taken away from me, right? Um, so with my kids, I want them again to have the, I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not the kind of person that says, oh, they need to go to this place or they need to do this kind of job or whatever, you know, it's really going to be up to them, but I want them to have the options and the choices when it comes to it. I don't want them to be, um, deprived because, you know, they weren't given the best environment to foster and grow themselves throughout their lives so that when it comes to, you know, choices of where they go or what they want to do, they, they have as many options on the table as possible. So, and then as a business owner, you know, who's business is shifting, um, and for good reason, you know, I want to show them, you know, cause it is something I enjoy doing. I want to show them that, you know, you can balance, you know, life and work and whatnot being a, you know, business owner, if, you know, they kind of want to go down that path. Um, you know, it's again, something I'm working on and something I've done, I think better since being in quarantine, but still has room to work on. Um, you know, because ultimately the point of me running business one is to provide, you know, a life for my family. Again, that idea of building the business around your life instead of your life around the business. I'm trying to do my best to shift towards that. Um, and two, you know, I want to show them that I'm passionate about, you know, what I do, helping other people, you know, improve their, themselves and show them that you can make a living, you know, helping others. And ultimately that is how you make a good living is you provide value to other people. So I think that's probably enough for, for now. And, uh, again, I want to wish all the fathers out there, happy father's day, present company included, and my own, my own dad, Anthony Markey, a happy father's day. So I love you, dad. And, uh, you guys have a good one. Peace.